example. Simon says, clap your hands. You should clap your hands. But if I just say, clap your hands, then you shouldn't. Or if you do, you may find that you'll be out. Okay, let's have a go, shall we? Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, scratch your head. Wiggle your hips. Was anybody wiggling? Because I never said that Simon said, wiggle your hips, did I? Well, that was just a practice. Let's have another go. Simon says, wave your arms in the air. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, sit down. Stand up. Oh dear. Did anybody stand up? Well, if you did, you better... ...between those Roman soldiers in the past and us today. We too have to be well trained and ready to obey. Why? Because the obedience that we develop today will help us to obey life-saving instructions that we will receive from God's organization in the future. When the nations attack us and the war of Armageddon follows, showing obedience will be our protection. So, what were the main points of our brief discussion? Shortly before Armageddon, we will face the attack of a coalition of nations. Today's circumstances allow us to train ourselves in being obedient. And as Armageddon comes closer, we will be protected as long as we are ready to obey. Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, jump up is a game that children play and it's fun. It's not controlling, but it's instruction. And the same with the faithful slave, it's not enjoyable. The command that comes from this governing body to tell Jehovah Witnesses what to do is not fun because it's controlling them completely it's controlling everything in their lives in this game you can see that the children are enjoying themselves but how ridiculous these commands are is how Jehovah Witnesses are in taking commands and obeying a faithful slave and obeying what they're told to do if they don't we're told that then they won't survive Armageddon so if they're told to jump for the organization over a bridge they will if they're told not to if they're told to die from having a blood transfusion they will if they're told to shun their relatives, they will. So, it says in their watchtower that they should be loyal whatever the organisation says. Even if it's crazy, they should obey. But a child isn't going to do... You could tell a child to do something and it would harm itself. So... In this game of instruction, really, this governing body can rule people's lives and control them, even maybe to die for, from sacrificing their lives to this organisation. We should not listen to this governing body. We should not take instructions from them because... We do not have a free mind. 
we need to have a free mind to make decisions for ourselves. That's what it's about. Or are we children that we like to be told what to do?